Hi, in this video we will give a short introduction to ASP.NET and we will use the ASP.NET web forms. Uh, ASP.NET is a framework for creating dynamic web pages uh, created by Microsoft. So we have the web browser and we have HTML. Typically we use JavaScript and we use cascading st style sheets on the client. On the server side, we have the web server and we use the ASP.NET framework and we program in ordinary C -sharp code or Visual Basic.NET code. In the bottom, we have the .NET framework. Uh, if you want to create an ASP.NET uh, web application, we have three different approaches. We have what we call ASP.NET web pages and we have ASP .NET web forms and we have ASP.NET model view controller. Uh, all these uh, approaches uh, require different background. So here, if we want to use the ASP.NET web pages, typically you use this uh, approach if you are familiar with PHP or ordinary or classic ASP.NET programming. This approach uses the so-called uh, Razor syntax uh, and it uses a single page model which the code for the graphical uh, user interface and the code is uh, put together in one file. While ASP.NET web forms are for those who typically are familiar with WinForms and .NET or uh, Windows Presentation Foundation uh, programming. In this approach, the graphical user interface and the code are separated in different files. While the last approach, ASP.NET model view controller, split uh, your uh, development in three different components, the model, the view and the controller. This programming approach is for those who are more advanced uh, for those who are more advanced in web programming. So the summary web pages approach for those who are familiar with PHP, web forms, those who are familiar with ordinary WinForms and .NET uh, platform, while this MVC uh, approach is for those who are, who are more advanced programmers. So in this example we will use web forms. So we will create a simple web form application to see how this is work. This is the application we are going to create. An ordinary web page with a title. Here you can enter your name and while you click OK your name will be um, copied here. So this is the program we are going to create from scratch. So here uh, this is an ordinary text box, this is a button, this is a label, this is a label and the title here is just ordinary HTML code or we could have used a label here also. So let's start creating this application from scratch. So then we start uh, Visual Studio in order to create our program. So you select File, New, Project. You select Visual Studio C Sharp and Web. And select the ASP.NET Web application. Uh, we can enter a name. I just use the default name here. And click OK. Here we have lots of different templates we could uh, use depending on which approach are going to use. In our case we just select empty and select web forms here and then just click OK and then now Visual Studio creating the solutions and then the solutions with files come here and then next we want to create our graphical user interface so we just right click on the project Select Add, New Item, and then select the web form uh, 
application and then click OK we can here select a name for it we just use the default name webform one dot ASPX and select add, add. now we enter the um, graphical uh, window for creating the code you can select either design to create the graphical user interface in design mode or we can create the graphical user interface using code or we can select split to see both at the same time so we use this approach now we can create our start creating our graphical user interface so we just create a t title here and we can say my first web form application like this and now we want to create a text box and a button so you just find this in the toolbox text box drag it in like ordinary uh, wind form programming and you find a button like this and then when we enter our name here and click the button you want to repeat the name here in a label so you just find the label like this now our graphical user interface is almost finished we just need to label sorry uh, name the different um, controls so the text box we set a proper name text name the button button okay and then we have the label here set a proper name label feedback or something like this and now the graphical user interface is finished we can just click double click the button in order to create the event for the code we just double click and now we enter the code window and it looks very similar or identical to the code window used in ordinary WinForms. So here we can start creating the code. So we start creating the code. We have this uh, label, label feedback, and find text property for this one, and then based on the name we type in the text box, we want to copy it into the feed. The, the label so we have this um, text box called name like this and we have the same text here property like this so that's all the code we need to write we save our code go back to our graphical user interface and then we can run our code so you build it and then we can click FM to run our program. So now the program opens in your default browser. Like this. And here we have our web application running. We can just type our name and then just click the button and then our name will be repeated here in the label. Now we just created a very simple uh, ASP.NET uh, web form application. That's all for today. Thank you.